Welcome back to Better Kansas City. It's both a tool and a work of art made in the workshop of a Riverside construction company. Check out the cool designs from Anchor Axe Company. What made you want to start making these axes or refurbishing these axes to something new? As a man, there's almost something therapeutic about chopping wood. I don't know yeah. if you've ever chopped wood before. Mm -hmm. What I decided to kind of you know start this company is like a guy I work with. My grandfather had an axe down here um, at our shop, and somebody was actually using it to cut tree roots mm -hmm. um, out front. And uh, so he grabbed it, he brought it back to him, and he's like, "Dude, you don't want somebody to cut tree roots with this, you know, this 40-year-old axe that's your grandpa's." And I didn't realize, you know, obviously that it was out there. So mm -hmm. I took that. And then uh, I spent a little time thinking about it, and then I was like, man, I'm gonna re refurbish this, fix this up, uh, make it look cool, and then I can hang it on the wall, just because it's something of my grandpa's, because yeah. you know he passed a long time ago. But, so that's kind of where it started. But one of the things that really I was drawn to when I saw your website, and when they put it in front of me, was just the different handle designs. I've always been halfway artistic, um, so just the idea to bring an artisan axe mm -hmm. out, you know, something that looks cool, that's first, first and foremost, you know, usable tool, but then something you can hang in your garage and yeah. it looks really nice as well whenever you're not using it. So you want people to go out and use these. These aren't just to hang up on the wall, just to showcase, but this is to, to put in the, in the trunk and the camping gear and go out and use it. Definitely, no. All these come um, at the end of the day, whenever I ship them, they're all waxed, uh, they're all solid as can be, yeah. and they're first and foremost, they're meant to be used. Is that what you get your, I mean, that's just an axe head. There's no handle in it, or do you get axe with handles that you just take apart? And... Kind of both, um, like this one here, I got just as an axe head. Mm -hmm. um, so you can kind of see the rest patina kind of on it. Um, this one here, I came with the handle. Um, this one here was actually given to me, and you can kind of see like where somebody tried to epoxy it. Yeah, keep not it did together. Really, not, not, did, <laughs> not, not really a good job. And then you can see here, you know, I mean, obviously it's mm -hmm. pretty, pretty rough. So this is an old, just an old handle that eventually I'll take off. I'll put a, clean the heads up, resharpen them, put a brand new handle on. And next we're going to make our way out to the shop and I get to try making an axe for myself. It takes a bit of work and skill to refurbish axe heads. And that's what I learned about in the shop at Anchor Axe Company. So we stepped out to the shop here at Anchor Axe and we're going to kind of talk first about how do you go from here which is just one of the accents that you found to making this shine. I mean, this is almost like mirror quality here. It shines so much. Typically, I like on these vintage ones, I like a little little patina look. You know, so obviously we get it looks like this, um, but there's a couple th different things you can actually soak them in that helps that rust remove. Okay. Um, you can do it in uh, vinegar, which is pretty, pretty cor uh, corrosive whenever yeah. it comes to metal. But you can also do molasses. Molasses, like syrup? Yeah, like syrup, yep. Just this, soak it in like, that. That sugar in the content will, yeah. will eat off that it'll rust? It'll actually eat off the rust. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, you, you know, you soak it in there for about 24 hours or so, and then you can, um, obviously there's a little bit of sanding. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll sand it off a little bit, and then you actually polish it. And then after you get all done, you polish it with like a wax. Like okay. a beeswax works real good. But then also there's like a metal uh, paste wax okay. that I typically use. Well, we've got one over here that you're going to help us put together today, right? That's right. Okay, so we've got so you've done that process with this axe head here, right? And you've got it looks it looks great, and I'm assuming it's sharp. I'm not going to put my finger over there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so what do we got to do to to get this thing started? We're going to put it together. All right. So what we'll do, um, if you just want to grab that handle, okay. and slide it in there. You guys, this is the first time I've ever put together an axe. I'm kind of excited and nervous, but okay. So it's sat in there pretty good. Do you want to get it all, all right. the way down? We'll or? get it all the way down. So typically if you hold this mm -hmm. just like that and bang that on the floor. Okay. If you look down the eye of it. Mm -hmm. Oh, you see that that split is right in the same line there? Exactly. Hold on. Yep, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> So do you want the glue to go on the on the outside of the wedge here or uh -huh. all yep, over? Or? Yep, just on both sides on the outside. Okay. So all we're taking is wood glue. We put the, the, the head on here and now we're just going to drive this shim right in between there? Correct. Oh, that went in the last Yeah, it'll drive down real easy. Once the glue sets up, mm -hmm. we'll actually cut that 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 that, that oh, shim down. Got gotcha. you. And then we'll drive a wedge in there. Cool. Well, there you go. It's my first, uh, my first axe that I've made. Now I have to find somebody to grind it with. <laughs> the 
the puns are flying fast and furious. Uh, now that we have the axe assembled, we have to design that handle, and that's what we're going to do next. Right, an axe is a tool, right? Well, this Northland company is turning them into works of art, and a big part of what makes them stand out is their artisan design on the handles, and I tried my hand at making one at Anchor Axe Company. Now it's time to decorate the handle, so to start painting them, how do you guys go about that? If you want to just mask it off, mm -hmm. and we can do pretty much anything you want. We could okay. do a simple design like this. Yeah. We could do short, tall, you pick it, buddy. Here you go, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do about seven inches of the same color, and then I'm gonna do a couple loops. Sounds is great. That cool? All right. And what's pretty cool is all these vintage, all the vintage axes I do in handles, they're all different. There we go, you know you're working hard when you stick your tongue out. Sorry. <laughs> One solid and then a little patch there. Beautiful. Uh, we'll let that dry. We can always do a second do coat a second on it. Coat. Yeah, because I got a little heavy there on the top. But, like. <laughs> but here again, I love seeing that grain. I yeah. think that looks fantastic. You also will brand it and you also can do some torch work on it. I do, yeah, it's an actual, um, it's a Japanese technique, and so they say it actually strengthens the wood and it preserves it as well. Oh, okay. Oh, it really darkens it up there, doesn't it? It does. Wow. And do you get that lighter look at the top, or are you pulling it away or just moving it a little quicker? You're moving it a little quicker and pulling it away, exactly. Okay. Wow, that looks cool, man. Okay. Speaking of the brand, let's go ahead and show how you do that, too. That okay. looks really cool. So what you'll do... Oh, I'm going to do just it. put on there. Yeah, dude. Oh, okay. This well, is how your, much, how this much is your axe. Not a whole lot. Uh, just put it on there, and we'll kind of test out the, the hotness of it. And how long do I want to keep it on there? Uh, just give it a shot, and we'll see. All right. It kind of just depends how hot it was. There we go. Just even pressure? Mm-hmm. Okay. Is that good, you think, or a little bit longer? Yeah, you might kind of go side to side a little just bit. Just rock it back and forth uh -huh. a bit. Okay. There you go. It looks pretty good. All right, try it. Yeah. All right. Oh, I think I got okay. it a little, little hard there, but. All right, it'll even out a little bit. And what we'll do, we'll sand that a little bit. Oh, okay. Now, I didn't totally get to finish up my axe, but I'm gonna plan some time to head back to put on the finishing touches. When I get it finished up, I'll bring it in and show it off if I can get past uh, HR with that. 